In this episode of The Flying Reporter, I head up to the highlands of Scotland and stay overnight in a luxury cottage with its own private airstrip. I think you've known for a long time that my flying is to get places, to do things, not necessarily to just go and visit an aerodrome and then fly home again. And so having a venue like this that you can come to up in the highlands from which you can base yourself to fly around the lovely coastline up here, visit other little aerodromes along the way, having some luxury accommodation to come and stay at and relax at with your family is just perfect in my view and I don't know why we don't do more of this kind of thing. No, it's going to be a bit bumpy, I'm afraid. With the permission of Red Hill's aerodrome manager, we depart early morning, as it was going to be a long day of flying. This trip is only possible thanks to the support of Anglian Warbirds, who've come on board with me this year, and the paying members of my supporters club. These episodes take a lot of time, money and hard work. Flaps coming up, accelerating, BY. On board with me today is Alistair. So, Mr Monk, so, well, welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to be back. It's been a long time, actually. It has. Today we're going up to Scotland, and we're only 40 minutes behind schedule, uh, owing to the fact that we were going to go up the west coast, but Liverpool and Manchester um, and Blackpool are all fogged in at the moment. And um, so we decided to go northeast. We're heading up to Norwich, and then we'll see where we go from there. And it'll be nice to get over to the north where it'll be colder. It will. Are you, are you good with, are you good in the heat? No, last night I wasn't. I don't think it got down below 20, did it? Did you not sleep? Not that well. No, I kept waking up. Quite a humid day today, so I've got to remember to do the carb heat. On days like today, it's particularly prone to get carburetor icing, so we do, oh, that, right. do that frequently. It's 151 miles to Norwich, then another 379 miles up to the Highlands. Total flying time, around five hours. A Covid risk assessment was completed for this flight. All coronavirus laws have been observed. I rang ahead to let Norwich know I was coming, and I was told that the runway opens at 8am today. But 20 miles out, we got some bad news. Hey, uh, Tom Foster, we'll roger, um, 14 Norwich runway will be open till 0900 local. OK, um, yeah, we were told 8 o'clock. Um, we'll just see what my ETA is at the moment. It's probably going to be before that, we may have to hold off. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll slow down a bit and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put some delaying action in. Oh, it's a bit frustrating, actually. <laughs> All these plans I had to try and get ahead early and stuff. Your brother, Hotel Oscar Romeo Norwich Radar, Squawk 3707, Q and H is 1020. Squawk 3707, 1020, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, basic service. Um, as my colleague told you, the uh, runway should be available on the hour, although we are going to have a KLM jet ahead of you queuing to use it. So uh, your expected approach time is going to be conservative estimate about 0810 Zulu. Roger, we'll probably do some sightseeing to the east. Go off Oscar Romeo. Roger, that advise if you need uh, transit of the airspace uh, on that task then, and um, as soon as I possibly can, I'll, I'll get you in. Thanks. So what I've done is I've, I've come down to quite slow speed, which will yeah. save some fuel. But what that does is be, to keep us flying, we have to be higher up. Right. With slower speed, the wings aren't producing as much lift. Yeah. So we've come up like this to keep altitude. Oh, so you right. see there's less space between the yes. earth and the sky yep. now. It's not only us facing a delay today. Fresh bridge warning, can I'm maintaining uh, 200 reaching bots, so cleared level by London 180. Can 79 Lima, Norwich radar, good uh, morning. There'll be a deconfliction service on leaving controlled airspace. I understand you're in the loop with the uh, runway situation. We're hoping to have that back for you on the hour. Sounds uh, like they had a problem. Level for holding? Apparently some work on the runway overnight has overrun by an hour and we're being delayed by half an hour. This is why you always carry extra fuel in reserve. To pass the time, Alistair and I take a tour of Great Yarmouth until the runway reopens. Okay, Alan, 7 9 Lima, runway available, turn right heading no, 180, no. please descend to altitude 2,000 feet. Right heading 180, 2,000 feet, come 7 9 Lima. 
Go for the Hotel Australia near Crit to enter controlled airspace, VFR, expect left base, runway 27. Clear to enter controlled airspace, VFR, expect left base 27, Golf Oscar Romeo. That's great, they're correct, before we have field insight. Bye-bye, great, you are, Matt. It's nice to, nice to see you again. Are you an unexpected visit? <laughs> Golf Oscar Romeo, traffic you're following is in your right uh, 2 o'clock, range is 6 miles, descending through 3,000 feet, KLM jet just on a 10 mile final, report when you have them in sight. Traffic inside, Golf Oscar Romeo. Mr. Romeo, what's your uh, team number 2 to that traffic then, and uh, caution weight turbulence, recommended spacing is 5 miles, but I think you've already got that. Roger. Brakes, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich, carby, are you strapped in, doors are locked, learning light, fuel pump. Top flush of Romeo, runway 27, clear to land, set between 010 degrees, 9 knots. Clear to land 27, go for Scrumia. So my plan of setting off early isn't going so well, and there are more problems ahead. When I did my check of the aeroplane before departing Norwich again, I spotted what I thought was a problem in the engine compartment and I honestly thought it was game over. Oscar Romeo's engineers don't work at a weekend. There was no engineering on site at Norwich. So I contacted my friends at Aero Anglia. We exchanged some photos and videos and they were able to satisfy me that the aircraft was in fact airworthy. And so after a considerable delay, I was able to get on my way again. Golf Oscar Romeo, Delta 1, ready for departure. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, Flight Delta 1, enter backtrack, line up from Romeo 09. Delta 1, enter backtrack 09, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 09, cliff takeoff, uh, 720 degrees, uh, 11 one knots, gusting 2 1. Cliff takeoff 09er, Golf Oscar Romeo. Kilo Roger, hold position after departure, a right turn on track. A bit windy, uh, I'm afraid. But and three seven zero seven. Ready? Yep. Position, then, uh, right turn, uh, right the Take off is uh, 42. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. 50 knots. There's 65, let's let it, let it go. There we go. Got it, it's windy. Yeah. So I've just turned left early to avoid those houses there. Oh yeah. Got what's your radar? 119 Radar 119 355. Goodbye, Golf Oscar Romeo. Norwich Radar Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo on the climb out 09. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Noise Radar, good morning. Basic service on leaving controlled airspace, report your level passing. Basic service on leaving controlled airspace, passing 1000 feet, 1021, Golf Oscar Romeo. Oh we got, we got Mickey, Metal Mickey on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a work Zoom call. <laughs> what makes me laugh? He's, he's, got, he's, he's got his... It's, it's the new Covid restrictions. He's wearing a metal bin. <laughs> so where we're heading is a location called Newhall Mains. Now, from what I gather, Main, Mains were a Scottish sort of farm estate. Right. And they were used to sort of house all the farm workers until modern machinery sort of took away the need for so many people. Yeah. Um, and this this mains this the mains has been in this man's family that we're going up to see for a long time, and he's just spent a lot of money re restoring it, oh, right. turning it into a um, a destination, uh, you know, luxury cottages, self catering cottages, uh, and he's invited us up, and the reason he's invited us up is he's built his own airstrip on. Uh, on the and estate. he's seen your he's a fan of the flying That's reporter. It. We're going to go around to the left here, 327. So can you go left? And you're going to head sort of over to this side of the... Godfather's all right. That's quite a turn. We're going to head over to the left side of the windmills. Do all right. Yeah, so um, 
I mean, when I say built his airstrip, I mean he's basically turned one of the farmer's fields into a, a, an, an airstrip. Well, that a bit smooth. He says it's, it's quite smooth, but it's quite short, 630 metres. Does so he use it? He, he uses it, yeah. What, what plane does he have? Um, I don't know. I've seen him flying a Cessna, I think. So um, that's where we're going. Very so we'll nice. have, and you know, people know me that that I like to go flying places, to visit places and do yes. things. I don't like going to an airport cafe and having a burger all the time, maybe <laughs> once or twice. But <laughs> I, I, I don't get a lot of excitement out of that. But to have some kind of luxury um, location, self catering costumes, oh, yeah. where you just land, take your bags out of your plane, go to your room. I think it's fantastic. So it's that close to the strip, is it? Yep. Mind you, that's quite a niche business, though, isn't it? Well, he's not doing it for a aviators. Oh, right, particularly. OK, fine. It's an added feature. Right. So it's a wedding venue, it's it's a Highlands tourist location, and I think also they, they because of COVID, people want self-catering more than they do sort of hotels. So he yes. thinks it might, yep. it might fit in quite, the timing might be quite good. For some of the route, we were on top of the cloud, which was hanging just off the east coast. It was smooth and trouble-free, with transits of controlled airspace when needed. Finally, I was settling into the journey. I flew over the Clan Gorms at flight level 075 as there was some broken cloud hanging around the mountain peaks. I prepared for an ILS cloud break at Inverness in case the clouds didn't clear, but the weather opened up just as I descended towards Inverness. Got a possible Romeo request descent, uh, altitude uh, 3,500 feet to 1025. Got a Romeo Roger descent, altitude 3,500 feet to 1025. Descending Gulf Oscar Romeo. We've got to find this little farm strip now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was thinking that. EZ57 Michael Beck, Squawk 5473. 5473, So I think we'll sort of get ourselves in the landing sort of mindset now. Yeah. Fuel pump is on, landing lights on. Radios, well, we're tuned here. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. We're on the tank with the fullest contents. No warning lights or anything. New Hall Mains traffic, New Hall Mains traffic, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, PA28 fixed wing uh, joining overhead. We're approximately two miles uh, to the southeast. New Hall Mains traffic. There There's the Saab. Oscar Romeo has the Saab. Golf Oscar Romeo, thank you. The runway goes like that. Okay. It's just over there. Oh, I see it. Before he goes to the tower. Is a light aircraft operating it's just to grass the strip here. Oh, yeah. Northland, 2,700 feet. New Hall Mains traffic, Golf Bravo Hotel, Skyrim is in the overhead descending uh, dead side and will perform a low approach and go around runway 26. Don't matter that he hasn't replied to you. Hotel, Oscar Romeo, that's all the traffic clear of you now. You can squawk 7,000. Squawk 7,000, thanks, Golf Oscar Romeo. Yep. And Golf Oscar Romeo, safety call 135, decimal 480. Bye bye. Safety call, thanks, Golf Oscar Romeo. New Hall Mains traffic, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, uh, final for runway 26, low approach and go around New Hall Mains traffic. Being one of the first visitors to this farm strip, I wanted to overfly the field first to make sure the runway was unobstructed. That look alright? Yeah. He's standing there keeping the road clear. All was well, so I prepared to land. Runway's clear. No obstructions.
It's taken three years to restore New Hall Mains. It's been transformed into a set of luxury suites and self-catering cottages. It's a wedding venue with event space and a bar. The idea for the project came from Ewan Ramsey, a private pilot who grew up here with his family. Naturally, it was important for him that both he and his guests could fly in here. Yep, so I, I was heavily biased. Um, I, I got my PPL about six years ago and I've been flying and I, I just love it. It's a fantastic hobby and um, I've met so many interesting people through it. And I thought, okay, how can we add to this? How can we make something really interesting? And, you know, we thought, okay, let's combine some fields, put in a big grass runway and um, hopefully have a, a great offering. Um, I know in the UK at least that there are limited opportunities to sort of fly into an airfield and stay the night. And in most cases, sadly, sort of the accommodation's a bit tired and we thought, okay, how can we revitalize it? How can we get more people up here exploring the highlands and also just doing something fun? And so it's been a great opportunity and we're just thrilled to have it up and running. So pilots watching this who think, wow, this looks lovely and they check your prices out and they think, gosh, that's really reasonable actually. <laughs> um, and what a great place to base. I mean, can they just call you up and say, we'd like to come and stay for a few nights and yeah, fly in? Yeah, 100%. And so it's, it's PPR, um, so we're, we're open, so guests can stay the night. Um, sadly, the airfield is only open to residents at the moment, so people who are in their cottages. And we're just very wary of, of noise and neighbours, and you know, it's always a delicate subject when you, when you open a new airstrip. Um, but there are fantastic facilities in the area, so there are great neighbouring airstrips. Um, Inverness is a seven minute flight away, there's Easter just over the water. So it's a nice GA hub, and irrespective if you're just dropping in or you know, staying a few nights, it's, uh, it's a great launch pad to, to sort of explore the wider area. My thanks to Ewan and his family for inviting me up for the weekend. The location is perfect and the accommodation stylish and comfortable. We enjoyed a social evening around a fire pit and then set course for home the next morning. In the next episode, I fly down the Great Glen, past Loch Ness and Ben Nevis. Please share this video and subscribe to the channel. Check out my website for additional footage from this trip. Fly safely, my friends.